Zell Boy Army, welcome to another video on the channel. This might be the most broken, overpowered formation tactics video I have ever released. The 532, it seems absolutely crazy. And before you put off thinking it's going to be a negative defensive tactic, it couldn't be further from the truth. This is one of the most attacking tactics and fun formations to play I have used ever on FIFA. Before we get into the tactic itself, so the gameplay, I just want to let you know, I played about 15 games yesterday in Div 1 Rivals. You can see my skill rating if I remove my camera. You can see there, I'm over 2,500 skill rating. I did it all on stream, so tune into my stream weekdays 2 till 6 if you want to see me play live. I played about 15 games with this tactic and 5-3-2 formation. Didn't change to any other formation. And I won all 15 games. I only conceded a goal in one game. So in w only in one game out of like 15 games at really high level of Div 1 did I concede. Well, I was scoring nearly 10 plus goals in some games. I was getting rage quits really quick. This tactic is OP. It is crazy. And you need to try it out. If you like these type of videos where I'm giving you tactics, I'll be doing new tactics after the patch we get this week, player reviews, gameplay tips, tutorials, this is the channel for you. Please subscribe. So let's have a look. So this is the team I'm using, and I don't want you to just say, oh, anyone with that team could do really well with this tactic, because it ain't true. I've tried different formations out, and whilst they're good, and yes, me being a pro player, can it 30 and having a team like this, it helps. I could just see that this tactic is different gravy and it's crazy. Let me show you the tactic and how I set it up. <clears throat> so I'm not going to sit here and take loads of credit for the tactic side of thing because I'm just using Dullan Mike's tactics. Dullan Mike is one of the best pro players in the world over the last few years. He's won major tournaments. He won the recent European Foot Champions Cup. And I've basically just copied his tactics with a few tweaks. So credit to Dullan Mike. Make sure you check him out. He's a great player. Um, and I really like him as a guy. Um, and yeah, I've just copied his tactic with a few tweaks. His video is in German, so probably most of you won't have watched it. So I'm going to explain the tactic, why it's so good, how I've set it up, show you the instructions, and then I'm going to show you loads of in-game examples of the attacking patterns of the tactic, how the defensive structure of the tactic is. And I'm going to talk you through all the strengths of it. And honestly, I can't really think of a weakness. Like, it's crazy. I can't wait to use this tactic this weekend. So, balance, balance, 5-5. Five, five. It is just very, very simple. There's barely anything that changes in this. The only change is three kicks to two. Like, it is very simple. It is the instructions that change it more so. And like I said, this is an attacking formation. I've been using the 5-3-2 for a month or two as my constant pressure ultra attacking formation. I don't think you need to go straight to that if you're losing. I've set up a more aggressive version of this 5-3-2 if you one or two goals down. Um, it's basically up the depth and go press after possession loss. But the instructions are where this tactic really matters. I'll show you how I've set this team up. You're probably going to look at this and be like, why on earth have you got Neymar and Mbappe at wing back? They can't defend. Well, the way this tactic works, and I'll explain it more when we get to the instructions, is that... It's so dominant and it's so good at attacking because we have the wing backs on join the attack and overlap. So Mbappe and Neymar basically in attack almost act like a lamb and a ram or a left mid and a right mid. And they give us that extra width which stretches teams and then our two strikers in the middle get lots of space because these players occupy the wings. And we've got three centre mids who can bomb forward who can give us lots of options. So for this formation... The ideal wing-backs and wing-backs are key in this. A quick attacking players who can shoot, pass, dribble. And honestly, they don't need to be that good at defending because when you get counter-attacked, if they're out of position, your centre-backs operate as a back three. They cut those outside centre-backs need to be quick so they can cover the wing-backs, but they're going to get a lot of um, chance to clean up for these wing-backs. Um, you want centre-mids... The outside centre mids in particular, you want to be quick and good at defending. Um, the middle centre mid needs to be someone who's really good going forward, a creative one. 
the strikers just need to be just what strikers are in this game good weak foot quick can shoot dribble all that type of stuff but really the positions that maybe need to be more specialized are the outside center mids and the wing backs you need quick center backs in this formation because it's so attacking if you get counter-attacked having quick center backs who can cover the wings to cover the wing backs when they're out of position and stuff that really helps and i'll show you some of how i attacked in this formation the gameplay um how i did counter attacks and how having good ball playing players makes a big difference but the instructions um you could potentially go sweep a keeper i don't think it really matters too much the instructions on keeper join the attack overlap on the fullbacks or wingbacks that's what makes this such an attacking formation and for me really makes it stand out you can overload your opponent and it's just so good for that because people don't really know how to defend against it because you just have so many options. Um, the default options on the centre backs, the middle centre mid you want on get forward cover centre. He still will get back and defend, but it just means that he almost operates as a cam. But then you still have this three man midfield. If you struggle to create in this, you could go to the five two one two because the five two one two gives you that cam and the triangle. But I am liking this formation with the three centre mids. Stay back while attacking cover centre on the outside centre mids. I don't normally think work rates make that big a difference. But for some reason in this formation, high medium centre mids on the outside just seem to work quite nice. When you go and stay back while attacking, they do get falling involved. And honestly, wait till you see some of the clips from this Alfonso Davies. This Alfonso Davies is one of the very, very best players in the game. And I know he's a team at the end of you thinking, of course he is. But I don't mean like one of the very best, like top 20. He could be like up there with like prime R9 for how good he is for his position. And in this role, <clears throat> he was just insane. Um, some of the goals he was scoring and runs he was making were crazy. And then the strikers, just leave him on default. You could potentially um, on the strikers go uh, stay forward. But I don't think it matters too much. Basic defense what means they drop a little bit deeper. So the gap between the midfield isn't as big. Some people go getting behind. Personally, I like a mixed attack, so the runs are a bit more balanced. And you don't need to do stay central or drift wide. Balanced width works well, and you get plenty of width from the wing backs. Let's get into some gameplay of this formation. And man, some of the goals that I was scoring in this formation, finger beauty. Like I say, please try this formation out. Don't just watch this and think, oh, it just looks defensive because it's five back. It couldn't be further from the truth. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, so I've just gone back through my stream and found all the clips of the 532. Like, like guys, honestly, there's so many crazy attacking goals. Like uh, this formation just completely overloads your opponent with options to think about when they're defending, which if you can make your opponent have lots to think about, they're gonna panic and make mistakes. And we're gonna get into some of those goals, some of the attacking patterns, how good this formation is um in the attack. But to start with, I'm just going to show you a bit of the defensive structure and why this formation is so hard to break down and why I just think right now it might be the perfect formation in FIFA because it's so well balanced and can do everything. So this clip here, most of the clips that I'm going to have a gameplay are going to be goals. But to start, we're just having a clip here of the defensive structure of this formation. So this opponent keeps the ball for about 30 seconds. But I just want you to keep an eye on where all my players are. So we have the two strikers who drop back a little bit more. But look now, we've got a wing back there, Neymar. We've got the wing back here. They're basically occupying the wingers of the opposite opposition. And one of the things that makes this formation so good is that you can be aggressive when defending. You do not have to sit back and defend drop back one depth in this formation if you don't want to. I can imagine this formation is even harder to break down with one depth drop back. But you can be aggressive with this formation because if you pull a player out of position... One of your centre-backs, you still have two centre-backs there. That's one of the things that makes it so good. And you can see here my midfield three. The, these guys here occupy this space here. So they shield the back four. Lewandowski gets involved here. My wing-backs are covering the wing. Every position in the midfield, or just the whole pitch really, is covered. The opponent doesn't really have anywhere to go. Just look, he's trying to break me down. He can do offside traps just to push you up a bit more. But no player is getting space in a dangerous area. He's, he's trying everything he can to keep the ball. He's being patient. He's doing the right things. But he just doesn't know how to break me down. There's a bit of a gap there. So I switch to the midfielder and cover it. Okay, there's a gap there now. Because he moved the ball quick. But now I've got three centre-backs there. 
My wing backs are covering here. He tries to force it because he gets impatient. And there was nothing he could do to break me down. The formation is so solid defensively. And look now. My wing back joins the attack and Bappe is getting down there. I've got three centre mids here. At this point, you get can counter attack so quickly that people don't know what to do. So you can go from defending so solid and organised and people don't know how to break it down to all of a sudden on the counter attack with loads of options. This formation feels like it has like eight players in defence and then seven players in attack. And when you play like that, it's not super defensive, it's not just super attacking. It's a perfect balance and people don't know what to do about it. And that's why I think right now it is the best formation in the game. Here, it's a very short and simple clip, but it's just my opponent here, he had 90% pass accuracy. He was a good player, but this opponent in this game was probably the best player I played all day, like 15 games of rivals, and he didn't have a shot. And I think at the end of the game, he had like one shot. Like People don't know how to break this formation down. So if you're looking for a formation that's going to help you be more defensively solid, gives you more cover, allows you to be more aggressive, this formation's for you. One of the best ways of playing on this FIFA is turning counter or turning defense into attack even. Counter-attacking football. You can see here that my opponents attacked at pace and I only have a few players back. But because I've got three center backs, even when the wing backs are kind of up the pitch like that, you can see Neymar's all the way down there. I still have enough players back to stop counter-attacks. I win the ball back here with lots of cover and look at how I counter-attack now. I do a driven pass through the middle to the player in space. And now look how I'm turning defense into attack. I've already got all these options. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, name out the bottom. There are seven players. Seven players are joining the attack. And now my opponent is getting caught in the counter attack. Lots of passing options. He doesn't really know what to do here. And now look at this from Davies. The lack of care because I know my opponent's about to dive in. Nice, easy finish, and boom. We've turned that goal in the space of, how long was it? 55 minutes. Three in-game minutes, I've gone from the edge of my box to a nice built-up counter-attack, easy goal. My opponent didn't know what to do about it. Okay, to end the video now, I'm just going to show you a bunch of awesome attacking goals from this formation. One of the things I want you to look for is just how many players this formation gets forward, the variety of goals we get. We score with pretty much everyone except for the centre-backs. It is pretty crazy the options this formation gives you. So look here, I'm playing out wide with Davies. Neymar, my wing-back, gets involved. Nice through ball there. Cut inside. Look at all the options I'm getting. Nice pass. Lewandowski makes a great run. Easy finish. And we have all these men around the box. My wing-back got involved. It is very hard for the opponent to defend that. Davies making a run there, causing issues. Go to Lewandowski, nice bridge there. Most people would go there and shoot on a weak foot, but I know he's going to dive in. Quick turn. You can see there De Bruyne as well making the run from deep. When he makes that run from deep, it makes it hard for the opponents to defend because they've got more to think about, and we get a nice goal. Using the wing back here, get involved, cut inside. It's why I want wing backs who aren't defenders, wing backs who can actually dribble and attack well. Go there to Ludowski, quick turn, and a great finish. <clears throat> Lewandowski. See here, Davies running from deep. Nice quick passing, quick one-two between the strikers. Having the two strikers is really nice, because you can always do this quick interplay. The gameplay was actually pinging yesterday. It was amazing, which made it even more fun than me able to do this. Then De Bruyne again lurking about. Another rage quit. Sabio, nice dribbling there. Sometimes it's better to go backwards. Here, Davies, run from deep. Another goal from one of my midfielders. I've never had a formation get so much involvement out of the midfield. Here, nice counter-attack coming up. See, my wing back there occupies this guy up here, which gives me more space in the middle there. And then there, my other wing back is bombed forward. He's pulled his man out of position from there. And we can exploit that. If people dive in against this formation, you have so many attacking options that you can get these goals that they can't really do a lot about. Okay, I gave the ball away stupid there, but you can see the press. 
players just get on them straight away. Three men in the middle, so it's hard for them to pass through the middle. Lewandowski, nice there. Bridge dribble, gets inside. Ball roll the keeper. You see there again the press. Alfonso Davies there. De Bruyne in space. Easy cutback. Lots of options. You see every player's getting involved in all these goals. Now this one here. I want you to watch this one. Look at Alfonso Davies here. I do the running speed boost fake shot. And it was a bad decision by me. But look how he just gets past Kyle Walker there. And there under pressure. A nice finish. This Alfonso Davies. One of my favourite players I've used all year. Nice bridge here. Easy finish again with Alfonso. He has 98 finishing with a Gladiator. De Bruyne turning. Lots of options again. The wing back's in a great position. I go there. He probably expects me to go there and shoot across goal. But with Neymar, the five-star uh, skills. Nice scoop turn. Put it in the top corner. Nothing they can do about it. Just look there. The overlap of options. We've got these three players centrally. The fullback there's gone inside to cut there, and then the wing back makes the space. It's so hard for them to defend. And this is why I'm saying it's not a defensive formation, it's an attacking one with crazy amounts of options. Here, I get a bit lucky. I get a bit lucky. I've got lots of options here, though. You see here, bad pass. But De Bruyne is making that run from deep and ends up scoring because that extra body in the box making the difference. This was poor by me here. I gave the ball away. But watch Davies here, how quick he is. Nips inside so fast. Then he's got the shoe and easy finish when the keeper's off his line. Here, run from deep again from De Bruyne causing issues. Makes it harder because Gomez has had to sit back to mark that. Davies... First time fake shot. The wing back cuts inside. The wing backs get involved so often. Uh, I think that was the last goal, actually. Yeah, that was the last goal of those clips. But you can just see how dominant this formation is. There is so much this formation can do. It can defend against counter attacks because you've got three centre backs to deal with it. Um, the wing backs, when you get in shape, are hard to break down because you've got three midfielders in the middle to stop. Pass through the middle, you've got width, you've got defenders, so you can be more aggressive. The counter-attack is great because your players get forward. You have width in the attack. You have loads of options in the middle. I don't see a weakness with this formation. I love this formation. I'm excited to use it this weekend league. And as you can see, absolutely dominant in rivals. And it's just amazing. Not really any weakness with this formation that I can see. The strengths are amazing. A great attacking formation. In my opinion, the best formation in the game right now try it out let me know what you guys think of it appreciate the support as always hope you enjoy this tactic have a good one